Hey everybody, how's it going? Nick here. So recently I posted this dumb video of uh, the usual cat doing the, uh, <laughs> doing the, uh, well, trying to do the pillow and then the pro artist does it. Um, and some of you asked me how to actually do it because, you know, that's sped up and it's, uh, it's bullshit. Like you can try to figure out how it's done, but it's not the easiest to understand how it is. So let's have a look how to do it. So. First step, delete the cube. Second step, make a plane. Now scale the plane on the X by two. So dump pad two. Let me activate my screencast keys so you can see what I'm clicking. Right. Then what we want to do, apply rotation and scale, go into edit mode, and we're going to control R and we're going to create a cut exactly in the middle. So now we have two squares. Now what we want to do is so go into face mode. Select all faces, subdivide a bunch of times, one more, just like that. Then we will extrude up just a little bit. We'll make a cut in the middle. And now here's where the magic happens. We want to go into the physics tab. We want to add cloth. Now we can leave basically almost everything the same. We just want to go in field weights and gravity zero pressure will increase it to something like 10,000 9,000 something like that and we can now call in the where is it the timeline and start playing and we will now see that it will start simulating tension right and pressure here so we want to let it go for a little while so that it does its thing. We can then stop and scroll back, find the point that we like. If we don't find any point that we like, because maybe we feel like the thing has way too much pressure, you know, maybe it's too fat or whatever. We can just go back to the beginning with this and reduce the tension. We can also give more vertex mass to our vertices. And we let the simulation run again. See, now it has a lot less pressure than before, which will make way more creases, right? So for example, I can stop right here. And I can use this. How do we use it? So we want to stop the simulation at this point, because if you do anything right now, it's completely going to destroy what you've done. Okay, so we want to F3. Convert to mesh. And now, if I go back to the beginning of the simulation, now this is baked in. See that? So now what we want to do, we want to select these two faces. Inset. Alt E. Extrude faces along the normals. And just extrude them out a little bit. We then want to grab the top and the bottom. Scale them on the Z just a little bit. And now we want to do control three. And we have our little pillow. I know this is not for games, by the way. Just keep that in mind because this is a lot of geometry. Like it may seem like it's a lot now, but if I remove the optimization, optimal display, look how dense this shit is. It's crazy dense. Even if I reduce it to one, this is still too much geometry for games, okay? So this is not for games at all. This is for like static render if you're making one, you know, something like that. You want to show off a cool pillow. By the way, right click, shade smooth. That's going to be absolutely perfect for that. Hope that helps.